welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to upgrade the SSD in the 2016-2017 13-inch MacBook Pro using an OWC Aura Pro NT. We've already gathered our materials, made sure our operating system version is already at 10.3 High Sierra or later, backed up our data to an external drive using Time Machine, and are working on a soft, static-free surface. We're now ready to begin. Before we go opening up the MacBook Pro, we first want to temporarily disable the auto boot function. We'll re-enable it later when we're done. To do this, launch terminal and enter sudo nvram auto boot equals percent zero zero, then hit return. You'll be asked for your password. Go ahead and type that in. Note that your cursor won't move as you type in this password. Once you've entered that command, you can now shut the MacBook Pro down and close it. On the bottom are six pentalobe screws to remove. It's best to remove these in pairs and keep them together, as each pair has a different size. Start with the pair in the rear corners, as they're the longest. The next longest are the screws in the front corners. Finally, the two along the front edge are the shortest. Once we have the screws removed, use the suction cup to pull up on the center of the bottom cover to disengage two clips on the underside. Then, move the suction cup to the front half of the bottom cover so that you can slide the pry tool in between the case and the cover. Slide the tool around the edges to disengage the hidden clips. Then, repeat the process on the other side. Once the clips are loose, lift the cover as little as possible and pull it towards the front edge to disengage the clips holding it on the hinge edge. You should then be able to set the cover aside. Inside, the first thing we'll need to do is remove the cover over the battery board. It should peel right off. With that removed, we can now disconnect the battery data cable. Pull back the tab to expose the cable connection. Use your black stick to flip the locking mechanism to the up position. You can then slide the cable out of the socket. Finally, remove the battery power connector screw using your Torx T5 screwdriver. If the battery connector underneath doesn't lift away, you can use the flat end of your black stick to lift it up slightly. To remove the original SSD, you'll first need to remove the black tape over the drive socket and drive. Next, remove the two Torx T5 screws holding the SSD module in place. Then, push the drive as far out of the socket as you can. This will usually push it right against the speaker module. Then, use the black stick to lift the module up so you can remove it from the MacBook Pro. Slide the new SSD module into the socket, keeping it as flat as possible as you insert it. Then, secure the drive with the two Torx T5 screws you removed earlier. Next, replace the battery power connector screw.
You can then slide the battery data cable back into its socket and secure it by flipping the latch over to the down position. Set the battery board cover back into place and we're ready to close up. On the bottom of the cover, you'll notice a series of clips on each side of the hinge edge. These clip onto these corresponding pieces on the chassis. You'll need to slide it back at a low angle for them to catch. Once they do, the cover should slide into place. Once the cover is flush against the hinge edge, Press it near the center and along the edges to make sure all the clips have re-engaged. You can now replace the six pentalobe screws that hold the bottom in place. The two longest go in the corners on the hinge edge. The next two longest go in the front corners. Finally, the two shortest screws go along the front edge. We're now ready to format and migrate your data. As there are several variants depending on OS, backup method, and other factors, you'll want to follow the instructions outlined at go.owc.com slash aurapnt13 slash formatting. Once you've followed those instructions and have your computer back up and running, all that's left to do is re-enable boot on open. To do this, launch terminal and enter sudo nvram auto boot equals percent zero three, then hit return. You'll be asked for your password. Enter that and hit return. Boot on open is now reactivated and your MacBook Pro is ready to use.